Well, good morning, welcome to Chasing Chunks TV and welcome to episode one of my new winter's campaign down here on Kingswood Lake. Now Kingswood Lake is owned by Blackford's Progressive Angling Society Club and there's approximately four waters on this ticket. This one is the one that I've chose because it's got fantastic winter form. There's a lot of bigger head of fish in here and there's some chunks as well to go at. Some of the other waters, there is also a good head of fish, but they are a little bit more of a smaller stamp. In here, you've got a good head of 20s, and I'm told at the right time of year, there's some pushing around about 29, 30 pounds. So if I can pick up something like that for my winter's campaign, I'm gonna be more than happy. Now this morning when I come on, come down the actual track with all that new excitement of fishing the new water, stood on the car park swim overlooking the lake for half an hour and i seen three fish nut out like i just did just right out in front of the swim with that in mind i've decided just to put out two solid bags to start off with just to get a feel of the lake and to start to learn and with that there's no better presentation than a little solid bag and a little bit of bait around your hook bait but yeah in them solid bags with them pop-ups i'll put a little bit of liquid in there which is uh key bait solutions asm feed steam which is an absolute fantastic winter's attractor on its own but a little put a little bit of hemp oil in there as well just to cut it up make it a little bit more liquidy and easier to go in the bags put them out on the spots where i've seen them fish and the right hand rod once i put it out as soon as it landed a fish showed right behind it so I am uh, very much uh, pleased that I've got my location right and uh, yeah I am quietly confident that one of these may rattle off during the day but if it don't to be fair it is a long haul to ask to try and catch a fish on my first trip. So I'm going to enjoy the morning and uh, chill out, have me a cup of tea, have me a brew and yeah I'm just going to uh, enjoy this new lake and uh, let these fish and let the like tell me what it's doing going forward. So, I'll catch you later, guys. Bye bye.
Well, there you go. The account is open down here at Kingswood Lake. Look at this lovely, lovely spot this common. You know what? If I can catch fish like this all the way through the winter, then I'm going to be more than pleased with these. I've literally just recast this because I've just had a bream on it. And as soon as I cast it, it was away within 20 minutes. Lovely. Let's send her on away and uh, get this rock back out. Well, fish number two, once again, on that solid bag, fishing at range, just a double, not going to get it out, stress it out, I've just unhooked it in the net, and uh, now I'm going to send it on its way, so uh, yeah, please with two fish. Well, half past two, I'm just sheltering underneath this bivvy until this rain has passed and I just thought I'd pick up the camera, great time to pick up the camera and just update the video blog for this morning. So we've had two fish, nice achievement, though they're not the biggest, it's all about getting on fish and getting rods to them, for me anyway. Knowing that I stopped on the car park, spotted the fish here, come down, put rods to him, caught him, is a massive achievement as in regards to coming to a new water and obviously seeing them fish moving on to him. And uh, it's, to be fair, any carp angler, that is the ultimate achievement. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased that, you know, I've got everything right. Obviously, you know, there is a good head of fish out there and obviously it is going to be easier than if, you, if you're trying to catch a little bit more wary fish and uh, fish that don't need to feed. But that's what my winter is all about. It's all about coming out here, enjoying my time on the bank and uh, catching a few. It's all good and well going off to difficult waters waters that are difficult all the way through the year never mind in the winter and struggling all the way through the winter fair play to all the guys that go out and do that your catches are very much um, very much worthy and you know to go out and do that put the time in on harder waters during the winter then fair play to them but I'd rather go out keep these delkin singing and uh, keep a bend in the rod and something that I enjoy doing, so why not do it? So, we've probably got a couple of hours left before I start to pack up, and yeah, we haven't really got much daylight, have we? Um, and this morning has literally just flew by, and I've only got a couple of hours left, so I'm already starting to uh, pack things away, and now as soon as I've got them out, I'm putting them away again. So I'll update you a little bit later guys and uh, yeah I would like to, one of these rods to rattle off again. There's fish out there, I've seen them, but it's whether, whether we're going in, especially this time of day, whether you're going to get a pick up. So maybe a little bit later just before we go, but at the moment I think uh, we're punching to try and get a bite at the moment. Right, back to my fishing, cup of tea time and uh, chill out for the afternoon. so sure whether you can see that but we've got a flat spot 
right out of the way I've cast. So I am expecting that to either rip off or a bream or some other coarse fish has disturbed the spot. To be honest, it's, um, it's only a small bed of bait, isn't it? So, if something had gone over it that was feeding, I'm sure I would have got a pick up and a run. But, there we go. Well, guys, as you can see, I've packed my BV away, and the only thing left to come in is these rods. It's just gone half past four, and though it doesn't look dark due to the good sensor and the good low light capabilities of my new camera, let me tell you now we are starting to lose the light. So I hope you've enjoyed episode one of my winter campaign. We're going to be going coming down here pretty regular, and it will be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. I think it's in that corner that you can uh, click on and uh, come and subscribe to my channel and just underneath here to the right you'll find a bell icon so you can never miss another video and get notifications as and when i upload my videos from down here on kingswood lake now we're not just going to be coming here during the winter this is where i'm going to set my base but we're going to be going off to all the waters doing day tickets here and there i'm going to keep myself generally busy might go off and do a little bit of pike fishing as well but Again, my main place. Oh, there we go. Still got a fish. Oh. Right on cue. Just finishing the V blog. And it's the way. Well, that's that. Unfortunately, hook pulled, and it's basically uh, due to the other line on the other rod. But yeah, we're going to have a great time over this winter, and just continuing on. But uh, yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel because uh, we're going to have some action. We're going to have some great fishing. I'm going to enjoy myself on the bank, and hopefully, you'll enjoy it too. So, uh, bish bash bosh, keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines. I'm going to get this rod in and uh, drown my sorrows but you know what i've had two fish and uh, i've enjoyed the day so bye bye for now